In today's episode, Chef Erica will show us how to make her delicious stuffed veal pocket with rice pilaf using Prairie Street's veal breast pocket bone-in. Mm, it's tender and it's, there's a mellowness and a sweetness to it. It goes so well with that stuffing. This is so good. <laughs> Welcome back to the Prairie Street Culinary Kitchen. I'm Chef Erica, and today I'm making a bone-in veal breast pocket with our mushroom and rice pilaf stuffing. So this is a really cool cut of meat. It's a whole section of the veal breast on the bone, and what we've done is cut a pocket in it along the wide end so I can stuff it. So I'm gonna be stuffing this today with a stuffing that I've made out of sauteed mushrooms and a wild and regular rice pilaf mixture. So this just makes for a really delicious stuffing. You could use any stuffing that you like, whatever your favorite mixture is. And then I'll be coating the surface of this with some Dijon mustard, salt, pepper, olive oil, just really simple. And then we'll be roasting the whole thing in the oven. So sometimes it's intimidating to work with a really big bone-in piece of meat like this, but it's really not such a big deal. You know, it's just, it's big, but it'll serve a lot of people. And plus, because it's bone-in, when you're finished serving this, you'll have all these great bones that still have some meat on them. You could even pop those back in the oven and roast those even more, get them nice and crispy, if you're the kind of person who likes to gnaw on the bones. Or you could take those bones and put them in a pot and make yourself a really nice broth or stock out of them. So when you buy things that are on the bone, you kind of get a little bonus out of it. Do you get the pun there? A little bonus? <laughs> a little culinary humor for you. Okay, so we're gonna get this started. I already have it in my roasting pan because it's a kind of a big heavy thing and it's easier to just start right in the pan like this. And my oven is already preheated. I'm gonna roast it at 375. And because it's veal, we like to cook it to kind of like a nice gentle pink inside. We don't usually serve veal medium rare, but we also don't really like it well done. We aim for that perfect medium. So we're gonna cook it till it's about 135, 140 at the thickest point. And then of course we let it rest. We always let our proteins rest. So first thing I wanna do is get that stuffing into the pocket. Now when you order this from us, you'll get it with that pocket already cut into it. And you can order it boneless or you can order it bone in, whatever you like, but we do the pocketing for you. So the pocket has been cut on this end. So it's almost like an envelope there. And it's just between the meat and the actual rib bones right there. And so I'm gonna take my stuffing, and to make the stuffing, all I did was I sauteed mushrooms and shallots. I hit them with a little bit of marsala. You could just use regular white wine, marsala, Madeira, a little bit of sherry, port, whatever you like in there. And then a little salt and pepper, and I just let that cook down. I added some fresh chopped parsley to that. Then I combined those cooked mushrooms with some cooked rice. So this is a long grain and wild rice pilaf that I cooked. And then I just mix that with that mushroom combination. But like I said, you could use whatever kind of stuffing you like in this. Now I'm just gonna take this and start filling up the pocket. It's not necessarily the prettiest task, but it is pretty delicious. And just fill up this pocket with your stuffing like that. And because this is rice and rice swells up even more when you cook it, don't overstuff or you'll kind of have a little bit of a, a rice explosion. So then I also have another pocket on this side and I'm gonna do the same thing. Take some of my rice and get it in the pocket over here too. And you know, don't stress out if some of it falls out or it looks a little bit messy, it's fine. It's going in the oven, nobody's gonna know. And when you serve it, it'll be beautiful. As Julia Child used to say, remember, generally you're alone in the kitchen and so nobody has to see your messy mistakes. It's between you and your veal. So we've got that stuffing in there. Now I'm gonna take some just good Dijon mustard. Make sure it's Dijon, don't use your hot dog mustard for this, that would be very weird. And we're gonna just spread this with the mustard right on top of the fat on the surface. And a lot of this fat's gonna melt off in the oven when you roast this. And the fat is really important because fat is flavor and that's gonna keep the meat nice and juicy and keep it tender. So don't go trimming off a lot of that fat. Leave it on there, it's there for a reason. So we use that Dijon mustard for seasoning, but it's almost like a glue also. It helps to stick any seasonings that we put on the surface 
of our meat. Let me just recenter this because you want air circulation around the meat. So make sure you're not like bumped up against the side. And then just some good coarse kosher salt. We love that coarse kosher salt. The stuffing is pretty well seasoned, so I don't really have to worry about seasoning the interior. But if you want, you can always kind of pull up that flap and just get in there with a little more. And then a little bit of black pepper. Now veal has a milder flavor than beef, so it's nice to kind of bump up your seasonings here a little bit. Veal can be a little bit sweeter, a little bit more mild, so it can really, it can take it, you know, it can take the seasoning. So some good black pepper on that. I'm just gonna tuck this little end in like this, make things kind of tidy, kind of organized. And then a little more parsley, some chopped parsley. And we'll add more parsley, of course, when it comes out too. We want some bright green on it when it comes out. And that's really it. Because I use that marsala in my stuffing and I have a little bit here, I'm actually gonna pour just a little bit right in my pan just to get a little bit of moisture in the pan and a little bit of steam when I start roasting. But that marsala is gonna evaporate right out and then later it'll leave kind of a nice glaze in the bottom of my pan if I wanted to make a little sauce or a little jus at the, at the end of the cooking time. So that's it, really easy. Now I'm gonna put this in the oven. My oven is set to 375. We're gonna roast it for approximately 90 minutes. But you're going to wanna to start taking the temperature after about, I'd say, an hour and 10, an hour and 15, because every oven is different. And also these will vary in size. So there's, you, know, you never quite know exactly what size it'll be. They're all a little bit different. So you wanna start taking its temperature in a few different spots. I would say at about the hour and 10 to hour and 15 point. So I'm just gonna get this in the oven and you know, lift with your legs, not your back, cause this is pretty heavy. It's a, it's a big piece of meat. And in we go right into that oven. So I'll set a timer for an hour and 10 and that's when I'll start taking its temperature. In the meantime, I'll do a little cleanup and then we'll come back and we'll talk about that meat when it's done. Well, this is quite the spectacular presentation. I mean, how would you like this for a holiday table, a festive Shabbat dinner, some kind of really special occasion? It looks pretty great. This is that stuffed pocketed bone-in veal breast with our mushroom and rice pilaf stuffing. I cooked it in the oven at 375 for about an hour and a half until the internal temp in the thickest point hit about 135. That's what we're looking for for veal. And now we've let this rest for a good long time, like 30 minutes. That's gonna allow those juices to redistribute and stay inside the meat when we cut it instead of coming out onto our cutting board. And this is just some of the juices from the pan, the drippings. So what I did after it came out of the oven is I just poured a little bit more of that marsala and a splash of uh, chicken broth in the pan. And I just kind of swished that around to pick up some of those juices and drippings. And that's it, super simple little sauce for that. So let's cut into this and see what we've got. So I'm just gonna kind of cut perpendicular to it and take off some little slices. This has that gorgeous, classic pink veal color that I'm looking for, and it's so juicy. You can actually see the juice right on the surface of the meat, even though this has rested for quite a long time, and it looks really great. And it's got this really nice crispy fat cap on it, and I mean, that looks so good. And then I'm kind of getting into my stuffing there, so let's taste this. So I'll be ladylike here, and I'll use a knife and fork. So I'm just gonna cut into a piece of this, I want a little bit of that stuffing on here too, like that. Mm. I know that in every single video that I do in the Prairie Street Culinary Kitchen, I have the same reaction, like, oh my God, this is the most delicious thing I've ever eaten. But it's true every time. This is so good. <laughs> it's tender and it's, there's a mellowness and a sweetness to it. It goes so well with that stuffing. It's perfectly cooked. It's so juicy. I would love to serve this for a special event, for some really festive dinner. It's such a great presentation. I mean, it really makes a statement. That is a really good piece of meat. Mm. So make sure that you check out our YouTube channel every Sunday at two o'clock because we're always posting new videos and new recipes for you. 
big spectacular dishes like this, smaller, simpler things to make maybe for a weeknight dinner. Also, we're gonna be doing some pro chef tips on there coming up too, and that's gonna be very exciting. And check out our new website at prairiestreet.co. There is where you can find all of our amazing products, all the different meats we have, veal, beef, lamb, plus our new line of fish that we're selling also. You can check us out. You can order your meats for the holidays or for weeknights or for just any time you want the best in kosher meat. Because remember that we are your luxury kosher experience here at Prairie Street. So as always, thanks so much for joining me today in the Prairie Street Culinary Kitchen. I love working with these products and I love doing these videos. I get to eat the most delicious meat I've ever had in my entire career. And it's just really fun to be here with the team doing this and bringing you these great videos. So thanks so much for tuning in. Make sure you subscribe and like and comment and share and you know, you know the drill. You know all those things you're supposed to do. And check back every Sunday at two o'clock for new content. And you know, think about holidays coming up and special occasions and check out our website and get yourself the best in kosher meat. I'll see you again, thanks so much. Subscribe to our channel now and set your notifications so you don't miss our latest recipes and chef-led tutorials. Then head over to prairiestreet.co to shop for your next big meal.